Welcome back to the APA Season 3 Devastation Arc, Waking the World Seed. How many subtitles can I go? Wow. At least one more, dude. What? I mean, oof. <laughs> Get it together, STF. man. Uh, no, STF's version of the Long APA. Oh, there. Yeah, right, right, right. Semicolon. Uh-uh. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, there yeah. it is. That's no, the that's wow. a dude. <laughs> Uh, it's time uh, how's for going? a long introduction. <laughs> it's a long introduction from Adam. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. It's been a while we since we it. heard that one. We did it. Uh, what's up? How y'all doing this on this Monday? Here we are on Mondays again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Living that that thug life. Is I that, did I, that, did thug, I that use Monday that right? Life. Yeah, yeah. Monday, Monday life. I'm a person. Real, I feel like a person now. I, you yeah, know? you look good. and sound like three thousand times better. Yeah, than yeah. You, did you last don't look time like we shit, we Zach. I you did. Look great. <laughs> you look great. He kind of did, dude. I, I, how can I be offended when I know for a fact? <laughs> it's like those you metrics look are three sad. Times. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Look, this is this is the commitment that Zach has for you, listeners. Mm-hmm. This man was here throwing up last session. Not just even to get this episode. Not, Not even, even drunk. drunk. Just feeling bad. Just feeling bad. Well, well, I, said, well. like, I, I think I spoke three times the entire episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're glad you're we're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, me uh, too. And glad to ha- glad to have that smiling face here on this Monday. Uh, Emily, on the other hand, how are you feeling? Bruh. <laughs> Listen, okay, can I just tell y'all what happened today? Emily went on an emotional ride that devastated me, and I had to take a nap, okay? Mm. Was it, did you go to arc? Disney? Tower of Terror? <laughs> no. Okay. Have y'all ever seen the movie, The Iron Giant? The yeah. Iron yes. Giant. Yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. movie. You tearing yeah. up just thinking about it again? <laughs> she is. It's too soon. She absolutely is. It's too soon. <laughs> Y'all, she's legit like trying to keep it together, man. Have you seen Fox and the Hound? <laughs> yeah, you seen Old Yeller? <laughs> you seen White Fang? <laughs> seen Steel Magnolias? I've seen Steel Magnolias. I've seen Old Yeller. I've seen all that. I just I wasn't prepared. Have y'all ever had a movie like that? Like you you like oh I'm gonna watch a, a kids yeah. film. You, Hold you on, had this is your first time watching minutes it. Of up. Yeah, this was I recorded <laughs> I recorded it for the channel. Oh okay. And um I was like oh okay sweet you know an animated movie this will be fine. Mm-hmm. Y'all it wasn't it's fine so at all. Good, though. It was very it good. Really, it was it was yeah. great. But like I was just. <laughs> Was and he's his best role. <laughs> I was proud of myself because, like, I jokingly said, Matthew was like, do you know who voiced the giant? I was like, oh, it sounds like Vin Diesel, but he was like, no, that's it. I was like, are you serious? I thought I was projecting, like, Groot stuff, but... Um, well, Groot is also Vin Diesel. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's my a, brain it's was... A, I, it's a young Vin Diesel. Yeah, I remember right. Listen, I, I can't tolerate this Dominic Toretto slander. Any longer. <laughs> no. All right, you're not no. funny. Those no. <laughs> no. 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 movies are bad and you know it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to answer your question, Emily, with maybe a surprising answer. So I too recently was caught off guard by a movie that had me boohooing at the end of it. It was a documentary uh, about a music producer, Clive Davis. Do y'all know who that is? Okay. Yeah. So he's like produced like every Everything, smash hit th- yeah. that you can think of. And so this is a documentary about him. It's called Clive Davis, the soundtrack of our lives. And he's like legit th- did that. Like him and, and Ruben his, are like the ones. Yeah. And like his, he made stars out of everybody. He's also responsible for a lot of music that I don't like that became like very popular, mm-hmm. but whatever. That's he, he knew, he knew how to get a hit out there, you know? He was responsible he, he for a lot of hooks cre- that I'm not yeah. a fan of. Yeah, well, he single-handedly <laughs> created pop country. Oh. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, like, um, but anyways, his big, like, his biggest star that he ever had and the, the one that he got the closest to was Whitney Houston. And Whitney Houston is amazing. And I've always known that, but, like, m- in the more recent years, like, I've come to, like, truly understand how special her voice She's was. She's got those pipes, ha- dog. Well, it's like inhuman, yeah. right? Yeah. Like it's like next level stuff. And well, the last 20 minutes of this documentary focuses on Whitney. And, you know, she had a pretty tragic ending, if you you mm-hmm. don't know. It was mm-hmm. did not go well for her. She fell 
from the star from the skies like a comet you know just it was a quick burn and uh you know it was t- it was like really tough for clive and everything and there's something about a powerful vocalist that always immediately like cuts directly into my feels mm-hmm. like and whitney being the best at that like i'm sitting here oh like oh this clive guy man i didn't know he was doing all this i didn't know he did all this oh he did pop country fuck that guy <laughs> and then like and then it's like whitney and i'm like sh- the, you know they show the first clip of her ever like her debut out to america on some talk show and i'm like immediately over there shutting my mouth just like <laughs> <laughs> just got you just i mean like you. literally like my face is just leaking mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i'm trying to hold it together and grace is like are you okay and i can't even talk because like if i do it'll you know the damn will break yep. yeah 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 and it, it's like i was like well, wait a minute you know i didn't sign up to watch t- these last 20 minutes of <laughs> reminding me of what we've lost and being touched by her singing all over again. It was, this isn't, a th- this isn't even the person that I was expecting to see. Uh, I'm not prepared for this. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yes, that has happened to me recently, actually. So one that happened to me recently, and you guys are probably going to get a kick out of this. Uh, and Zach, you were there for it, but I hope you didn't see uh, Top Gun <laughs> Maverick got me choked up a couple times. Mm. <laughs> got you. Cause it's, got you right in them one, feels. one, it's, I don't know, military stuff always gets to me. Right. Uh, and two, it was just so fucking cool. It wasn't so much the, like, oh my God, it's so sad. I'm so, yeah. like, emotional, but it was just like a, just, just, this is so, God, this is so fucking cool. You know? <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's usually what gets me too. That's why I like a powerful vocalist, right? I, I am like overwhelmed with emotion by the, ca- the capabilities of the human spirit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like, so like, yes, her story is tragic, but like when I hear about those things, I don't tear up. But when I see somebody do something that's like next level, yeah. and obviously with music is going to be even more of a direct line. So mm-hmm. like, I totally feel what you're saying. Like you can be overwhelmed by just yeah. like the awe of something. Yeah. The story of like, Maverick was yeah, like, okay, the term but like, awesome yeah. actually the means. things. Yeah. yeah. But it was yeah, also exactly. like yeah. a, a awe an, of something. Like, you know, yeah. sh- awesome for sure. If you're not. <laughs> <laughs> An unfulfilled uh, childhood dream of mine to be a pilot, mm-hmm. uh, right. which will likely never happen. And I'm okay with it. But seeing that and seeing them go through the things and knowing that the actors were actually in the seats of real aircraft, like mm-hmm. I was like, okay, okay, just get me a little bit. <laughs> oh God! We also yeah. just watched Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, that's you so talking about good. the pilot got me. That is so good. Oh man, John, do you cry ever? Have you ever cried in your life? <laughs> ever? <laughs> yes, I have, Adam. And I he mean, was like, a baby once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know if I will take that for granted. You know, like. I haven't seen baby pictures, so I'm not sure. He just gets a big no. grump face. You know what? Show us your belly button, John. I don't believe it's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to keep my human skin on. You know? oh, that's too a baby over here. No, no, I, I've I've totally cried, and um, I wish I had something in my pocket to like bring like bring out as far as like a movie I watched recently where I cried, but unfortunately... It's not, just, it's not a competition. It's fine. It's I, not, but I just can't think of one, like, off the top of my head at this moment. But it's it's happened. 3 a.m., we're going to get, like, a ping in the Discord. Yeah. Like, y'all, I remembered it! <laughs> <laughs> no, land before time. It got me. Oh. Land before time. <laughs> uh, he, what about you? Um... I j- I've only cried from stress lately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason to cry, you know. Uh, we, we already talked about on a, one of our shows the uh, me watching the Green Mile for the first time with mm-hmm. Zach's ex girlfriend is a <laughs> memorable one for me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's oh, I remember when I it wasn't recent. I don't have any recent ones. I do remember how profoundly I cried when I like I used to when I was a little kid. I was bad about, like, I'd wait till my parents or my grandparents, whoever I was staying with, would go to sleep. And then I'd sneak my ass back in the living room and watch TV till, like, <laughs> 2 in the morning. As you do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember I, I watched Backdraft one time when I was, like, <laughs> 10. And sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. Aww. Yeah. That's, 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 like, that's what you get, dummy. Why are you up at this hour watching adult movies? 
Right. Not adult movies like a like Oh that. yeah, like heavy movies. Right. Dramatic movies. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't like <laughs> ten like <laughs> Sneaking into the <laughs> living room to watch that's skin a mask. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. that's, that's not what I was doing when I was 10. <laughs> uh, well, the last time I cried was on Saturday when I updated Foundry to version uh, oh, 10 oh. and then tried to open this Starfinder uh, world and everything was broken. <laughs> um, but thanks to our resident tech wizard, one of them anyways, Josh was uh, keeps a good backup system in place, and we were able to back it up to its former glory. So for that, I'm going to award you an inspiration. Oh, Nice. Let's continue to have tech trouble so I can continue to, no, to offset no, this don't terrible put that evil I'm yeah. taking this inspiration take away. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. taking it no, back. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I need them to offset how terribly I've been. Like, Mm-mm. I've had a string of awful, awful rolls, multiple well, nights, multiple sessions six. in a row. All right, one. <laughs> it is a Which one. It actually <laughs> is a one. That's good on this though, because you get a personal, so you can roll a d10 for me. Oh Jesus, uh, making me get dice doing Ooh. doing things like yeah. you play a game with dice or something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a d10. <laughs> Two. Like I said, Two. terrible rolls. All right, this is from. Uh, Sir Newt. Hi, Newt, Newt. Uh, so, a five-year-old boy is walking around in the air and space museum, but he doesn't seem to be having a good time. Naturally, his mom asks him, what's bothering him? And he, respond, he responds, mom, it's just too Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll nice. see you, Newt. We'll find nice. see you, bro. <laughs> so, the aircraft I work on is made by Boeing. I, I really I think, appreciate that. Yeah, a lot. I, I you think, fucking I mean, would. That's, it's a personal one for Josh. Yeah, so y'all, it fits. Yeah, y'all it's step off. This is for him, not you. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You. Okay, that's gold. That's comedy gold. Y'all can just get on out of here. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> just go. <laughs> just well, get. I'm gonna I'm gonna remind Zach what happened because I'm not sure if he was here or in some sort no of fever idea. dream state. Like yeah, I really don't yeah, know. Remind Zach because he's the <laughs> one that does it. Mm. So, uh, you guys were making your way up this spiral tower using the ramp that spirals around, right? And um, as you did, you kind of discovered some things about what that purple biomatter that they were building things out of as that they're using a biomatter recycling system, uh, presumably for the Bantrids that you've also determined have some sort of relationship to the sieve here. You continued up the tower and one of these panels was malfunctioning, but none of you rolled high enough on your perception to prevent Mike's large leg from slipping into the hole and then the chute snagging him around, like, and so trapping him in place. I need uh, everybody to roll initiative um, and before we get into this, I have a, hey, this is the last season for the APA. We're high level combat. Let's have some fun here. Bet proposition that I want to put to you, um, Heath. This is, so this will be up to Heath, all right? And you can decide if you want to do this or not, but I just think it would be fun, all right? So your leg is caught in this trap, right? And it's, we know that it has, that like it breaks down biomatter in the trap. So I would like to sit, like do a bit of a gamble with you. And if I can get through your stamina, all of your stamina with this trap and get into your HP, even if it's by one, this trap takes your leg. So, so you have to take one HP or all of stamina gone, HP is fine. Does he have to lose one HP? I have to get into HP? the HP. Okay. I have to take one, one point or more of HP damage. So you have to what do, do you say, Heath? 183 damage. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty unlikely to happen. But, like, let's add some stakes to this. What do you think? How attached are you to that leg? <laughs> Answer me this, Adam. <laughs> 182 the, stamina. What was the last thing I said at last episode? 
I'm finally going to get a titanium limb. Yes. So you're in. I love to gamble. Especially when there's no real life stakes. <laughs> when it's not my actual money. Exactly. That's the best. Uh, yeah, I say yes. Let's, let's, let's go for it. Well, let's do it then. All right. Felino, you see this happen. You have the initiative here. What are you going to do? I mean, do I want to prevent him from getting a titanium limb? Well, you got your <laughs> your characters don't know that. I need no, you I guys know, to know, separate know, your metas now. <laughs> um, I've now, do you li- have beef I've with been, Mike? I've been living you know? a lie this whole time. Titanium Mike's been a misnomer until now. <laughs> well, we'll see. I, I it, it's metaphorical. I'll be surprised if we get through. Right. Um, we'll see. Yeah, Fell's gonna do. I'm not sure what I could do. Try and grab him, pull him out, engineer a thing to get him out or something. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Roll what, an engi- you can roll an engineering to try to like pry open the panel so he could pull his leg out. Okay, I will attempt that. Uh, not a great roll. It's a 5 plus 27, so 32. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. I didn't think so. No. I just love uh, what's not a great roll. For yeah, me. it's yeah. a well, terrible roll. <laughs> great roll, 32. not a great roll on the die. Oren? Uh, Oren, well, first of all, there's no way I'm hitting a 32 on an engineering check. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. maybe I could just try to grab, grab him and, and pull on him. So basically what you could do if you wanted to do that is aid him in his escape check, which means you would just roll an acrobatics. Okay. Uh, and if you get 10 or better, he'll get a, a boost to his Well, role. I auto aid then because I have a plus 12 to acrobatics. All right. So, yeah. So he's you're in there trying to help pull him, pull him out, you know, and, and kind of help give him points on how to twist his leg to be the most limber and lithe, maybe. Sure. Uh, Kuiper? Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, is there any way that I can aid on that? On what? Uh, as far as helping him pull him out. I mean, yes, yeah, so you can do the same thing that Orange just You guys did. are just, like, tying a winch up to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, uh, I mean, I, I think Orange is just grabbing Mike's arm and pulling. I, I wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't get so yeah. complicated. We're here in the in the moment. Orange, yeah, like, oh, this is shit. very much in the moment, right? And you, I assume that that you, you auto aid, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I auto aid. Yep. Okay. All right. So currently, I might say you're going to be rolling with a plus four to whatever you got. Yeah. Currently, the best that I can possibly roll is a twenty six. On a what? Seriously? On acrobatics. Yeah. Can I aid? Uh, not I now because it's not your turn. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I how that's initiative. Shrinks character. Uh, this isn't good then go ahead and roll but uh, it's a bad situation for you it's worse Uh, than I thought it was ain't that Uh, the way 16 no sir so on the first round it's impossible for me to do so on the first round of this you guys see around like where his leg meets the the metal and the panel, these green nanites kind of like working his way up his leg. And so I need everybody that aided Mike and Mike yourself to roll fortitude saves as this these deconstructing nanites reach out to try to decompose the biological matter. Ew. Wow. Oh holy shit. Yeah. Fortitude saves. 24. Mm. 24? Okay. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? John? 24. This wouldn't right, and- count as an environmental hazard, would it? No. Okay. What about you, Heath? 33. 33. Uh, Fel got oops. a 17. Okay. Mm. Super not good for Fel. Uh, you, I... Orin, you got a 24 as well? Yes. So Orin and Kuiper with 24s. You guys both passed, so you'll take half the damage. As well as you, Mike, you certainly passed. So you'll take half of 32 points of damage. Fell, you'll take all 32 points of damage. So that's 16 for those of you that saved. Okay. And 32 points of acid damage on the first round. Ziva, you're up. Did we top off, like take a long rest or anything since the most recent combat 
I'm full. Well, you haven't had a combat, so you guys should be at full yeah. okay. going into this. Yeah. I mean, because the last combat you had was the Starship yeah, combat. Yeah, I'm just missing nice some resolve before. for some uh, piloting I gadgets, I believe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, what can I do uh, in this? You can situation? aid now. I would love to aid. I auto-aid. This Now, this puts you in harm's way, right? Just if you're aiding, you would also have to roll against the trap. But you can certainly attempt to aid. So you have a 10 or better on acrobatics? I do have a plus 11. All right. Um, Fel, do you want to try engineering again, or are you going to just contribute to the acrobatics chain? Um, I'll attempt engineering. Why not? All right. Why not? Why not take 32 more damage? Mm. It's what I would do. <laughs> Probably going to take it, too. Uh or putting myself in harm's way with no effect. That is a 35. Not gonna get it. Very, very so. close, though. Very close, though. Oren, I assume you're doing doing the same thing here? I guess. Is it even gonna be possible? I, who could tell you? You. <laughs> who would tell you? You. Yeah, I you, guess. You. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, yeah. Right. Kuiper, same. Yeah, I'm looking over through my whole inventory trying to figure out something, but no. Uh, yeah, I'm going to aid. I'm just going to aid. Auto aid. Yeah. All right, Mike, that is a plus six now to your role as you have Ziva, Oren, and Kuiper trying to, like, slender you up as much as possible and, and fell trying with, like, his wrench to to pop open that panel to no avail. It's holding shut, and you feel all these little... You know, like, yes, all of you are experiencing, but Mike, you've got it all over your legs, you know, or your one leg. These little nanites just <laughs> crawling over you. What do you roll on your acrobatics? Uh, about it, almost as well as I possibly can. I rolled an 18. I have a plus two, which is 20, and another plus six from AIDS is 26. That is a fail. Shit. Yeah, so, like, I've got to crit this thing. And. <sighs> It seems as if the nano or the nanites are now like multiplying and season, you know, like ramping up in their process. So let me ask you this. Yeah. How bad does this hurt? Well, you tell me how it might feel to have hundreds of tiny little robots using acid to decompose your flesh while it's on you. I I mean, how advanced are the robots? Do they have a numbing agent Very. they apply before they put the oh. acid on? Oh, no. They could, they, they're advanced enough to have that feature, but they definitely do not have that feature. It's like the cruelty is the point. Yep. Right, right. So I need fortitude saves from everyone. Ew, David. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which, I, I mean, I asked about the, the pain thing because I imagine you guys <laughs> pulling on Mike, trying to, we- you know, kind of mm-hmm. unwedge his leg while his legs being eaten with freaking acid is just like grunting and, and this is, yeah, this you is know, a like all situation. the get, get me the fuck out of here alright okay. I rolled a 12 <laughs> okay that's not good no. another 24 okay that's good what about Ziva and Fel Six, 16 for Fel mm, not, not good cool mm-hmm. cool 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 12 12 nope, total nope. no that's not gonna do it either what about you uh, Mike 32 had a 33 last time, 32 this time. 32 is a save. Okay. However, uh, everybody but you and Kuiper are going to take 39 points of damage. Ouch. I rolled low on the damage. Um, and then those of you that save take 19 points of damage. 19, okay. All right. Now, I'll ask you before we go into the next round if you guys want to keep helping or if you just want to... Let this go. Just let it its happen. Course. Lost yeah. cause. Lost cause. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. <laughs> I guess Nate? I heard that bill. <laughs> how how, how heavy that is Mike? This... Oh man, We're pushing oh, towards three hundred. Okay. Oh, you got to be more than that no. with all the gear. Oh, I just mean I just mean his body weight is towards yeah. three hundred. Who the hell's been deadlifting in this group? That'd be I me. Mean. No, yeah, the it. only guy whose leg is stuck. Exactly. It's been it's been literally how, years. How many, since how many bulk do you have on you? 
Uh, a lot. <laughs> I just uh, imagine him emptying all the things out like Skyrim wheels of shoes. Sh- I would be taking <laughs> off that fucking armor, dude. So many it's cavities. Atta- it's uh, on my leg. Like, yeah, he yeah. can't do that. <laughs> but I mean, like, armor as far as, like, the chest and everything, trying to lift you out, I imagine that's more weight. You know what I mean? I, mean, I actually think, think it thinking, takes... Yeah. Well, we're doing acrobatics anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's not going to come into play, at least in that in that context. True, true, true. Uh, so Ziva, what you going to do? You going to try to help or I'm just gonna get out of the way? Going to try and help. Going to try and help. All right. So you auto a. Yeah. All right. Now, Fell. I mean, you could keep trying at this engineering. You know. One if of these days, I'm going to roll yeah. well. Yeah, if you can pry Maybe. it open, he gets out. It's a you know? I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and spin that uh, that resolve. That uh, or not resolve. That uh, that inspiration. That inspiration. You inspiration. There the you beginning. go. Yeah, go ahead give and spin you an extra that. plus two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, damn it! I'm thinking of switching over to engineering. I mean, this is a crazy situation where like time is of the essence, and lifting him it seems just like it's not working. Well, I'm really tempted to help out with the aid. On uh, I just aid. rolled it. And with the uh, inspiration, I got a twenty plus twenty plus a twenty. Uh, It was eighteen. You can't do that because your (laughs) modifier is more than that. No, forty-seven total on the engineering. Oh my god! So that's gonna get it. (laughs) Uh, So you 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 prop it up and you finally, and uh, everybody can pull pull out away from this thing uh, if you if you want to do that. Get away from the hole. Yes. Like, yes. I'm out. Uh, yes. Yes. Everybody, like yeah, yeah, you can all like step out. away from the hole, and uh, you know, like basically everybody's tugging on you, and you got fell in there, like trying to pry it open. And he finally <laughs> cracks it, and like everybody kind of falls back because they're pulling with all their weight, and like Mike kind of just cascades on top of all of them, and you're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so you're you're actually good, and then like the last burst of nano. Uh, nanites happened, which would have been another 10 d12 of acid oh, damage. Uh, but you guys avoided that and uh, uh, got out of this trap. So nicely done, Fell. Way to save the day. Yay. So, uh, uh, hey, he, you're just going to have to cut your own leg off. Heath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do that. I am, I am curious. Heath, what, what, is, what is your total bulk that you're carrying? 12. 12 bulk? Yeah. What about emotional baggage? So would you say you're about <laughs> I, I've, I've lightened 280 that up a lot pounds? Since the last one. But, but let's say 280 without your armor on? No, yeah. there's no way Dude, that, he's like two, that vest is under 300 pounds. Yeah, I agree. Even, without armor. Even, so agree. Good, even like totally naked. No way. I mean, I it's weigh the about toughest goddamn vest you've ever seen. Muscle why, do you, why do you have to be 300 pounds specifically to be the toughest goddamn vest? <laughs> I just assume because of like... The amount of muscles, the height, because uh, yeah, they're like Fell's the tallest, right? I mean, what's your strength, Heath? Uh, seventy-five. <laughs> uh, my strength is twenty-four. So twenty-four. Plus. Okay, that's a lot of muscle mass. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. I'm a pro boxer. <laughs> Always right. have had a lot of muscle. Listen, mass. Listen, here's here's why I ask because. I have I got an I got an, uh, a new spell. I've had it for a couple levels, but I was looking through my spells because I, I knew I had gotten telekinesis, and mm-hmm. one of the options for telekinesis is violent thrust, and you can hurl uh, objects and creatures up to four hundred pounds or forty bulk. <laughs> Jesus. And I was thinking, like, okay, yeah, <laughs> if we could take a couple <laughs> weapons off, I could have pulled them out, but that presents. A very interesting idea, which oh, is yeah. Oren can hurl Mike at something, and it takes damage. It takes one d10 damage per 25 pounds for extremely dangerous things. Shit. I would argue that the toughest goddamn vest I'm, ever seen I'm is a very dangerous, dangerous thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're talking? I could hurl. I could hurl Mike 150 feet. <laughs> And have if he was naked. Well, and then I'd still have my movement and attack. Four hundred pounds. Four hundred pounds. Oh, four hundred yeah. pounds total. Yeah, four hundred yeah. pounds. So like he could drop two of his fucking guns, and that mm-hmm. would be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that's a thing. But I just want to know how Mike much one D ten 
per 25 pounds is, right? So one bulk is roughly 10, 10 pounds. pounds. Right. Correct. You know? Yeah. Um, and if, if, you know, we'll say that he's... 300 just to make that math. No, I mean, easy, what, no, right? I mean, it, the whole thing is going to be 400 total with gear and everything. Right, but so like at 300, then he could that leaves 100 worth of bulk, so he could have 10 bulk on him. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. So that would be 16 d10 damage coming at somebody uh, by hurling Mike at them. Mm-hmm. Which. Uh. I just love the Mike, idea that that's a thing we can do now. I'm exactly. not opposed <laughs> to that at all. I love it. I've always been a fan of, I'll hit a motherfucker with another <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the other motherfucker yeah, in a um, heartbeat. So, yeah, the way this trap works is it's a, it's a four-round trap. Um, and it the first round catches you, right? And then the second round does 4d12, third round does 6d12, and fourth round does 10d12 of acid damage. So it was possible to, to burn your stamina, but, you know, um, you, with your fortitude save, which you were looking to hit a 23, I don't, I don't even know if you can roll below a 23 at this point, can you? Uh, I have a plus... 16 to fortitude. Yeah, so you could. And a natural one is always a possibility on a save. So, right. uh, Well, good job, guys. You got past that. Uh, I burned up a little bit of your stamina, uh, but you can certainly use a short rest here if you want to g- grab all that back, or you can press <laughs> forward. It's up to you. Yeah, I, I want my stamina like, back. I mean, yeah. we haven't even gotten into it. I feel like narratively, yeah. I was like, let's let's take a minute. Let's, you know, <laughs> yeah, let's take I'm a breath. almost lost his leg. You know, I'm gonna hang out because I actually lost a fair chunk of resolve in that fight in the um. Oh, in the star yeah. oh, combat. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna good... not. Fair. Just gonna okay. not. Fair, fair. Yeah, I I am gonna take one. Uh, spend a resolve. Or we'll ask. You all right, bud? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I th- I feel like because I only went down to 147 stamina out of 182, like anywhere is like such heavy armor. I feel like realistically the damage being done was to his armor more than to him. Yeah. You know? Yeah, right, right. So right. Fell was probably actually injured more, like proportionately, considering he mm-hmm. lost half of his stamina. Yeah, I'm right. just too goddamn tough. <laughs> well, so one thing I do want y'all to think about, particularly the ones that took significant about significant amounts of damage, is that like, you know, you guys had armor on. Imagine right. being a small creature mm-hmm. that goes down that she, you know, like that's what they're that's what they did. I'm just amazed by the cruelty these, here. Yeah, it's know? it's awful. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys can take your short rest if needed, um, and then just kind of keep moving up the ramp. Which I assume that's what you want to do, right? I don't know. This place sucks. Let's leave. It's um, not great, is it? Just well, it's kind not of go the there. Worst. Tis a silly place. Tis a silly place. Tis a silly place. Um, I think though, I do, I do want to say, like, I to John's point about like, are there are there numbing agents or whatever? It's like, no, they're advanced enough that they could, right? But yeah, they don't exactly. like that. <laughs> that just highlights how wretched this place is, and the fact mm-hmm. that it's made out of, you know. Yeah, Bantrid bits. Green. Yeah, mm-hmm. bits. Uh, Soil purple is right Bantrid. So Bantrid. <laughs> <laughs> is that what whale polyps actually are? Yes. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not canonizing that. I'm not, I'm not that. that. No, no, no don't, they're don't whale polyps. My good time. They're, they're polyps they're of whale. They're whole, yeah. right. It's in the name. It's in the name even. It's wholesome, <laughs> edible whale polyps. <laughs> they keep uh, yes. Yes. Like buffalo this is, wings. This is a million years old. Like... Don't forget that all this stuff is a million years old. Yeah, well, pops. Know, world's oldest food. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't anyways. Know about that. You guys can I feel keep like moving. berries or something is the world's oldest food. <laughs> they're like, they're uh, very like. Nope. Well, pops. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we're going to keep moving. Uh- <laughs> right, right. And so it goes up to this landing where the ramp stops uh, over here on the south side of the, uh, of the tower. There is a one of those large like ring doors, you know, that, mm-hmm. like a mm-hmm. sphincter door, mm-hmm. basically. Uh, we'll but, call yeah, it an door. aperture. We'll yeah, call it an aperture, aperture. But I like your. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a sphincter door. <laughs> you yeah. can call it whatever you I'm want. Listen, call it. hey buddy, it I'm here for fleshy? it. 
Anyway, so you guys can move your tokens up there um, and get in whatever way you want to enter into this I think, next I think, uh, level. Uh, I mean our our typical marching order. Yeah, right? typical right. marching yep. order. Yeah, he was in the back. He was I'm just saying, I'm not going to do all the work for you. So move your fucking tokens. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> well we'll move our tokens, but just be aware. <laughs> don't try because to fuck us on this, Adam. Five people. Uh, that's why in. I don't move so your tokens. Here's you know here's a here's a question that I have. Um, it would make what sense. It's not so much a question as much as it is a statement. It would make sense that. Having engineered how to open or to to force that uh, trap open, Fell would have taken note and probably would be able to see or spot one more easily next time because we know what to look for. Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. Okay, that's that's all. That's nice, it. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Just doing some angling. Just doing mm-hmm. some angling. <laughs> all right. Uh, I see that everybody has got to the platform, but nobody's really feeling getting up to the door, which I understand. Yo, I'm not uh, the che- I'm not the door checker. We got two people for that. <laughs> we got specific door checkers. <laughs> Listen, Ziva <laughs> hangs out with people who are good at things so that she doesn't have to do them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, check steps. check them doors. Yeah, like she's, them for- she's tried to be good at so many things. And just I've handed gotten, it off to someone listen, else. <laughs> you get good at delegating or you get dead, okay? <laughs> right, right. We inspect that door for traps first. That's what they're doing right now. Okay. Uh, 38, um, it, it's a door that's circular that's shaped like and operates like a sphincter. Okay, so <laughs> Kuiper uh, looks at the door and then he looks over at Mike and says, I think you're okay, buddy, but... And then he just, like, puts a hand on his shoulder and says, Be careful. <laughs> Wait, uh, now, hold on, what? I'm stepping away it, from this large a, door. It's a sphincter door? It's an aperture. It, it's yeah. an aperture. You're an aperture. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention, Heath, where you been? Because I was Googling what was the first ever food grown. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was Beans. it? It's sweet. Beans. 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 Hell yeah. no, oh, the, the oldest man-made foods are cheese and bread. Oh. Like, like I was looking for the old, like, what is, what the do first you think is the first food to Cultivated. Grow, you know? Uh, yeah, Intentionally yeah, yeah. cultivated. Yeah, yeah. I so like it looks like beans, beans dating yeah. back 9,000 years. Mm. Mm. They had good beans back then. That. Well, I mean, like, evidence of cultivation. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> well, like, we open, so we open the and berries and shit, right? We, we're talking about agricultural practices. Mm. Yeah, so, well, yeah, but I'm talking no, about the first ever, like the first thing. I, I, hey, listen, ate. I'm down for getting <laughs> off track as much as you want, but I know that several of you have somewhere to be, so we could keep talking about berries, but I, we're gonna do this whole episode, so it's your call. All it's right, an we check the door for traps pivot. and then we go in it if it's not trapped. Yeah. That's the plan. It, it, I guess it's not, it not trapped. Be, so. yeah. It is not trapped. Well, then we go in the door. We open a butthole. <laughs> You do that? Is that what you do? (laughs) Zach's face. I reach in and just spread it, you know? (laughs) Goodness gracious. Uh, You did this. This is your fault. Once again, once again, I regret. I I feel like this sphincter of a door just like kind of grinds open because it's I hadn't been looped. It is it's been old. It's 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 uh Oh, you guys. Just break the door open with like one hand. And first, God, I hate getting what I ask for. (laughs) Yep, you're right. Uh, so you open the door. (laughs) <laughs> and you see this like workroom, right? Dozens of identical connected workstations made of dull plastic and steel fill this windowless chamber in concentric circles. Each workstation contains a computer terminal and a desk outfitted with a treadmill like device. Irising circular doors, sphincter doors, uh, are yeah, built into the southern and eastern walls. You're going through the southern one. You're going through that bottom sphincter. Squat cubicle structures of dark metal stands are interspersed among the workstations. Desiccated bone fragments litter the floor and scorch marks mar the walls in some workstations. Can you guys go ahead and give me a perception check? Sure. Yes. Can I tell you what this looks like to me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, we got circles, right? And then these circles are little workstations. And at the workstations, it looks like a tipped over walker with like tennis balls on the bottom. Mm-hmm. That's what the workstations look like to me. They do look like <laughs> tipped over walkers so, with tennis balls on the end. 
Adam, you said something about there being like treadmills, treadmill-like looking things at the base of the workstations. It's a, it's a YMCA. That, no, I'm just thinking that Bantred sits on it and then yeah. uses a little spinny ball yeah, like is. a mouse. That's how he moves the cursor. Holy yeah. shit. I was They're just so saying, cute. with treadmills and walkers tipped over everywhere, it's just Take a Take inspiration, CA. Josh. <laughs> uh, what? No, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's what I was thinking. Are you actually, serious? He actually called it. Yeah. So, oh, man. Take, Fuck take it. An, and take another inspiration. Yeah. Roll you a D6. I thought it was like a hamster wheel situation. They were drawing power from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Session of the Josh. Same here. difference. Hey, you that's know, another five. one on the D6. Okay. Uh, at this point, I need you to roll another D10. If you roll a one, roll again. Okay. I'm gonna roll that again. And again. Oh, baby. Two. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, this Cursed. one is gonna come from Jason Laptop. In the words of Chuck Palahniuk, the most boring thing in the entire world is nudity. But, Palahniuk. Never met a naked fell. He didn't. Oh. He I didn't. have so many questions. Who I is also this just person? disagree with that assessment. Uh, it's actually yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's Polaniac, actually. No, uh, whatever. <laughs> also, that's no. a very contextual. Yeah. Quote, yeah. So you know, this is he's an author who wrote Fight Club. Yes, oh. I mean I know who he is. Yeah, well, I didn't. Emily thanks. didn't. So uh, yes, right. I've seen I'm the just, movie. I, but... I'm just saying it's not like Chuck Polaniac or whatever his fucking last name is. Putting that forward as his assertion as a human being about no, life. No, that's one like, of his that characters. is a quote from a book yeah. from a very specific character. Oh. Right. Okay. Right. I learned something but new I, today. I still disagree with it. I, di- I just disagree. That's what I, I'm saying. I agree with your disagreement. But thanks, Jason. <laughs> Certainly depends uh, on the context of the nudity. But yeah. in general... Yeah, I, I don't think it's ever boring. No, man, it's always you know, interesting. I agree. I don't think. I, I think you just see somebody nude, and then regardless of the context, there's, it's you're not bored. Right. By it. You're well, either that- you, you could be impressed. You know, you could be excited. <laughs> you 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 could be disgusted. Uh huh. What else? There's lots when of you em- see, there's lots I mean, of emotions, see, but so none the of them are bored. the first time you see a naked person, son, you might have some emotions <laughs> and some feelings that you're unfamiliar with. <laughs> but if uh, one of them is boredom, oh boy, something is wrong. Well, no, I won't say that. Nah, no. yeah, well, I'm not gonna say anything I mean, is wrong. It, it could be a very, very, very long and sexless marriage. <sighs> you Bored. made me I sad. Mean, that, that's all. But that's 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 a different thing, right? That is. That's a whole different. Problem. I mean, that's new. To, anyways, uh, all right. His, We're his really fascinated by this quote from old pivot. Chuck here. Chuck's last pivot. name is pronounced Polinick. Paul and I see. I was closer than you were, you Ooh, son of a bitch. Get wrecked, John. <laughs> get fucking and wrecked, you're, dog. And you're muted you're while muted. you're talking shit. Oh God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Turn God. down for what? Damn. It. <laughs> Bro, got him. The pretension. Oh, just I was actually trying to right get like cut ass. through the noise and say, "All right, let's get back on topic." Uh, it's uh, actually can I pronounce Polinic, but it's like, okay, well. Oh, you were muted. Oh. Yeah, I was fucking <laughs> muted. <laughs> Like God damn it! Hey, like <laughs> Just do better. <laughs> Can you guys tell me your perception checks or what? Yeah, yeah man. Forty-five. Ooh, Jesus Christ. what about it? Uh, sixty-two. Nuh-uh. Thirty-six. Nuh-uh. Oh, I don't do see. perception checks. Listen, twenty-eight, <laughs> baby. Twenty-eight. Y'all can sit down. I got this. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, no, so actually, uh, Orin is the only one who you know. Orin being ever vigilant and looking around as his doors open. He looks, all of you guys are kind of looking across at all these stations. Oren looks up as he is wont to do, right? He, he looks up to things as, as a stargazer. And you see hanging upside down from the ceiling. A floor master. A naked a person. And it bores you. Oh, yes. No. What? Oh, no. Oh, what? This is like a, 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 a Bantred acorn. Trent. Yeah, a Grandpa Bantred. And naked. Uh, right? So what it looks like is a yes, a bantred, but Bane like desic- desiccated <laughs> and, and like shriveled, and also there's a stench of like undeath and also just like old, you know, like mu- uh, mildew musk. and um, yeah. Does it musty, smell like uh, a snake? Musty musk. It looks like a shriveled mushroom. Does it smell like a snake? That's an important question for me, Adam. 
I don't think so. Oh well, uh, it's but not there that are bad. four of them. Hanging it, what if it did? It oh man, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's not a smell I can deal with. Uh, and then I need you guys to go ahead and roll that initiative. Yeah, I suspected that would be the case. We're in a fight. Yeah. We're gonna beat that gr- grandpa ass. Oh no. Why has it always got to be ageism with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's real sensitive about that. Oh. Yeah. I'm I'm old now, so that hurts yeah, my yeah, feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it hurts you, doesn't it? Yeah. Old ass. How many times do we have to teach you this <laughs> lesson, old, old man? man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, I roll real pretty like. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um. Yeah, I can imagine you don't. Because I just uh, told you. You ain't even got to imagine it. So the first one is up. And let's see what their movement is. Ooh, they got some good movement. This first one, as it opens the door, sees you and rolls across the top of the ceiling, which is 20 feet high. And actually is going to... It can roll double. on ceilings? This one can, yes. And it double... and it, So it double moves right to the edge of the door. On, on the ceiling. On the ceiling, yes. Okay, cool. And then the other one is going to roll kind of in the lobby in a similar situation. So you see these things just (laughs) rolling across the entirety of this ceiling. Mike, you're up. Um, Okay, I'll just fly up and hit them. Okay. How much movement do you have? 30 feet? Uh, Wait, let me see. Let me see. Where on my shit? 35. So 35 long. And and I found a little formula to do the Titan Theory. Actually, my my (laughs) fly speed is 60. Oh, well. My ground speed is 35. My force pack gives me a fly speed of 60. Uh, So, John, you asked a question in the chat that I think is important to discuss on air um bantrids ex- came into existence five years ago in the starfinder universe right. well five years ago from when so how i guess it's been eight years now for for the api but they emerged on a moon called hib with no memory of why that they were in stasis but they were like all of the bantrids were came out of these towers on hib that's what Um, Ziva remembered in her culture check Um, and they just emerged on the surface of Hib with no memory but they were they were in stasis for they don't know how long anything like this so seeing this here is certainly shedding some light on that Uh, but you do know of Bantrids in the context of you know they're an eight-year-old species that just you know came came to be part of the packed worlds anyways uh mike you can fly up there with your 60 feet uh yeah and as part of my movement i will draw my dashko to hit the nearest bad boy and we're sure they're hostile uh, i mean i assume they were they're coming after us and he made us roll initiative <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah but we as characters know they're hostile uh, I protect my friends. You do what you want. <laughs> they just rolled up on us. That's all they, they did. They didn't do up. anything else. Bro, liter- so literally, they rolled I will up. Say that th- I will say that these do not look like the bantrids that you are, right. that you know. We said they look with. undead, right? Yeah, yeah. Like they're zombantrids. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get your roll, Damn man. It. Come on. Do what you're doing. Let's go. Well, y'all quit slowing me down. Fuck your pacing, Adam. Your That's what I got to say. Conversations. <laughs> Uh, 27 EAC. 27 EAC is a hit. Oh, nice. 49 fire. Goodness gracious. Damage. So, Mike. Oh, actually, door- it's 1d6 more than that for Mobile Army. Why is that? Oh, How wait, no, that no, it's not, no, it's not. It's, it's got to be. It's for my. That's for my gun that's attached mm-hmm. to my armor. It's anything attached to my armor. Okay, so yeah, you. The door's open. 
Oren says, look at those things. And they start rolling up and you just like, all right, here we go. Fucking Iron Man your way up there. Dashko like slices right into him and it just like cuts right through their like purple desiccated flesh. Like the smell that comes out of that is horrid. Like it's not just normal like death smell. Like you would also know that Bantrids stink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, at so, least the, yeah. fi- the fire of the Dashko maybe gives it a burnt jar, you know? Right, right. <laughs> Carter has that stank. Right. Mm. Kuiper, you're up. I welded yeah. him. <laughs> so, <laughs> welded him. God. I understood I, that reference. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Kuiper, uh, is, it, is that Bantrids? And he's going to squint his eyes and re- look really hard and with a life science. For a 34. 34 will get you <laughs> nothing because they're undead. One question. One question. Okay. Um, uh, we'll just go with weaknesses. Resistance. Uh, so they... Because that will tell us if they are actually technically undead. Well, no. I mean, Resistance you can is ask, wooden. You can ask uh, what their these. subcategory is. You know, like... Uh, uh, but nah. I, what, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that they have regeneration uh-huh. and that it stops from fire. Okay. Okay. So. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So I'm going to go ahead and convey that. Uh, you can do it telepathically, my guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like, at first, a Kuiper just like, yeah. and then he realizes, oh, yeah, we the fire. And he's like, says it out in, in, in his mind to the rest of the in group. His mind. Yep, I had in a feeling mind. they might be. <laughs> you, you, you can use that telepathically, Michael. Seems like everything he is with I the am. fire. <laughs> just screaming in our brains. <laughs> and so. Uh, Huh? Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So he's going to, with spring attack, he's going to go ahead and attack uh, the um, one in front of Michael, directly to the north of him. Uh, can you, is it still uh, in the you air? Spring, can you use spring attack with your flight speed? Uh, well, I'm not technically flying. I just have my wings out. Well, you well, have to. Well, are you shooting with your gun? No, 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 it's no. It's on spring the ceiling, attack is dude. melee. Right, so he's on the ceiling. Oh, oh, then yeah, uh, the flight, uh, I should be able to, but I, it is limited to only 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to, to do that, no problem. Oh, spring attack, uh, trick attack, yes. Now, yes. that's what we had discussed. Now, spring attack, oh. it does not say anything about not being able to do that. I'll read the text as is uh, real quick. It says, as a full action, move speed, and at any point... Uh, make a melee attack can combine with trick attack or combat maneuver with no attack of opportunity from the target must move 10 feet before attack and can't target foe who starts adjacent yeah mm-hmm. yeah I think it'll work okay all right yeah uh, now that does bring in the question because he's because uh, he's flying his his uh, movement speed is limited to 30 feet flight oh well then you cannot get there okay uh, and that you need forty case, feet to get there. I will uh, run in and I will shoot instead of spring attack. Okay. But you are doing a trick attack. Correct. Yes, I am doing a trick attack. So trick first. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take ten or are you going to roll? Yeah. No. Uh, I'm going to take ten. So that's going to be a... I'm checking my new snow. That's going to be 38. 38. That is a successful trick. All right. Let's attack. Oh, and I'm imposing a bleed. Just to see if that will. Mm-hmm. Uh, 27 on that attack. And that is against KAC? Uh, KAC, correct. That is a miss. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it is now. Arn, you're up. All right. Uh, since they are undead, can I roll mysticism on recall knowledge, or is it only life signs? Uh, oh, son of a bitch. It, you should have got nothing with that life science. It is only mysticism. Well, 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 <laughs> well. You got one over <laughs> on you. Suck yeah. it, Adam. Yeah, I should get an inspiration for you. <laughs> Squeezing that out of you. No, I hate it. <laughs> I was um, on board until you said that. 
<laughs> okay, that's a 35. On a 35? The yeah. Uh, you can get asked one question as well. And I'm going to tell you that it's the regeneration since he wasn't supposed to get oh, that. No. That's BS. That's, that's trash. That is not BS. Trash GM movie. No, I, can't no, I want to know, do they have undead immunities? They're, they are undead. Do they have undead immunities? I made my ruling. Do what you're going to do. That means yes. It's a good assumption anyways. I can't tell if Adam is just being petty or if it's just like... It's, it's I feel like it's being like, it's so petty. I, that, I can it's ask that. It's not being petty. I can ask that. They have immunities. But, but, but he, are, you already yeah. got information that you shouldn't have got. Yeah. No, I'm with that's Adam not my one. problem. That's your problem. But right, is the which GM. I solved it as a GM with my ruling. Yeah. So we're gonna move forward. I didn't want to know that though. That's what I'm saying, bro. I want to know if they have undead immunities. What you gonna do? They literally are undead, dude. They have undead. Immunities. Yeah, but there's like spe- sometimes there there are weird s- special things. That's that's all I want to know. Okay, or is gonna activate Starlight form as a standard action. And he is going to fly, uh, I think about 60 feet. It's my turn. Okay, that's that's 30 feet, right? Wait, what? With the... the your... Oh, because the squares are 10 feet? No, 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 no. Your um, starlight form is 30 feet of light, right? Yes, it is. Why is it not working? Here we go. All right. I love that effect. I do, too. All right. It is another... Execute's turn and it is going to use its full movement speed to move across the room and it is now Felino's turn I'm confused by the the map the way that it's set up the big squares are 10 feet correct right so Orin should have been able to move twice as far because the cursor is showing the single uh, grid increments, like where it snaps to for the ruler tool, mm-hmm. as 10 feet increments. And that's something I brought up maybe last episode, last yeah. session. You yeah, if you want to move further, you certainly can, Arn. Uh, you know, this is this is where I want to be. So Okay. Right. okay. So I guess uh, everybody just keep that in mind well, if you're measuring yeah, that, stuff. It's so, so that changes. Divides the number you get by two. All right. Oh, wait. This wasn't its turn. All right. It's your turn, Phil. All right. Phil is going to turn on combat tracking on the one next to Oren and the one next to Mike. Uh, and then I'm going to do an overcharge shot uh, at the one that's farther back into the room over by uh, Oren. Let's see how that do. Is a 27 against EAC to hit? Against EAC is a hit. Nice. Let me turn off all the things <laughs> and turn on overcharge. That's going to be 35 electric and fire damage. Wow. Okay. Excellent hit there. Very good, Fell. All right. It is this other ex. I cannot Exicate. say. Exicate. Exicate. Thank you. This is its turn. Oh man, this thing can get get in there. All right. So that's 40 feet. Not quite going to get there, but it is going to move up to you, or and get right in your face. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, and then it'll end its turn there. Um, but that's a fortitude save against that blindness, right? It is, yes. Right. So they don't have to roll it. Mm-hmm. Immune Ziva, fortitude you're up. Says, yeah. Okay. I'm going to attempt a mysticism check for knowledge stuff. Okay. Ooh, 17 on the die. 34? That is one question for you. All right. What do we want to know? Uh, Zach wants to know if it has undead immunities. No, I don't need more. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my go-to question is uh, lowest save, but is there something that's more appropriate that y'all can think of? Do we have... Do we know special abilities? Uh, we, we don't. Do you know what? We don't. We've never dealt with bedrits. Let's see. Special abilities. Yeah. Well, these have a 
an attack called the Writhing Appendage that has a free grab is if successful um, by four or more. Um, yeah, and on top of that, if grabbed, they have an ability called Strip Flesh. Oh no! You make this up. <laughs> um, well, I don't care for that. I certainly share that with the group uh, telepathically. Um, in a you nice. You would have last AP. <laughs> um, can I get a shot on the ceiling one? Um, from where I'm at, like I'm technically outside of the aperture. All door. of the uh, all of the ones in front of you are going to have a little cover okay. from where you are at because okay. of the door. Um, yeah. So I'm going to move action, step up. Yeah, I'm going to still be outside the door. Can mm-hmm. I see um, the one to the rightish of Orin? I'm going to say that it's going to be a difficult shot on this side of the door. Because I'll step through the door. And you're going to provoke an opportunity attack. What? From the, yes, it's got some reach with this motherfucker. Apparently. Uh, it's like 30 uh, feet up, right? Dang, boys. It, well, okay, let's see. You're right. I may not quite get you there. I hope you don't. I'd like it a lot if you didn't, actually. <laughs> is, is that the case? Yes. Um, I actually cannot reach you Yay! from there. Huzzahs! Um, so I'm actually going to just throw a get em, an improved get em. Um, um, the one, actually, let's do the one that's right there with Mike. Let's, let's just smash and smash and move on that's all right my turn. all right that is the end of round one we are at top of round two and the first one here is going to whip out with its writhing appendage that is the name excuse me while i whip yeah. this out uh and this is going to be at mike all right mike we got a 42 against your kac I know that's a hit, but Just does it beat missed. it by? But does it beat it by four? Yeah. Okay. Does it beat it by eight? No. Okay. You are grappled, and you also take twenty-two points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, that will be its turn. The next one is up. This is one that's right in front of you, but is going to actually attack Kuiper. Uh, because Kuiper attacked it. So here we go. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh wee, 39 against KC. Nah. Does it beat by four? Uh, it is 32 AC. I got 32 to my AC. So yeah, so yeah, it, it does. Beats, it beats so you are also grappled. Mm. Not great. Mike, you're up. Okay. Um, I mean, can I attack it from grappled? Or do I yeah. have to try to break out? Nope. You can attack. Uh, you can only attack with a one handed weapon, though. Um, okay. Well, I believe just... that's the situation with grappled. It's a good question. I don't know. I'm a boxer, not a Brazilian jiu jitsu practitioner. <laughs> not that, uh, dude. Uh, yeah, so grappled. You're restrained, you can't move, you take a minus two penalty to your AC, attack rolls, reflex saving throws, initiative checks, and dexterity based skill and ability checks. You, in addition, you can't take actions that require two hands to yeah. perform. And you also cannot make attacks of opportunity. Okay. Uh, I can punch it though. Mm hmm. Uh, so, I mean, would it be. An action to take my hand, one of my hands off my dashka. Uh, well, it's like a. This is it, swift. Yeah. Okay, which would mean I can't do a full attack then. Well, you can't. I don't think you can do a full attack while grappled anyway. I guess you could. Nothing in there said you couldn't, but yeah, but you can't do it. You got to change your grip. So. Right. And you are attacking the one that's grappled you, or the one that's in front of you. Because you can't really reach the one that's got you grappled, I guess. So it has to be the one in front of you. Right. All right. So a 38 will hit. Okay. All right. 
36 bludgeoning damage. Ooh, wee. Uh, all right, so still big, big hit there. Um, Kuiper, you're up. All right, going to keep it easy. Kuiper is going to uh, try to trick attack the uh, creature that is... Oh, wait, no, I can't perform a full attack. Or can I? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, i uh, going to try to trick attack with his uh, Gale Baton Cyclone. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's going to be an auto, which is 38. We already know that succeeds. So and this is, so. and Kuiper's flying, because these are on the ceiling, right? Mm-hmm. And the ceiling is how many feet up? 20 feet up. Can, do I have enough to reach it to, to hit it with melee? Or am I grappled You're- not? Are you flying, right? Uh, yes. Now, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am not. I am not. Apologies. Uh, oh, then yeah. no, you cannot reach it. Okay. From All the right. ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so instead, I'm going to use a skip shot pistol. Come on. Come on. That's 31. That'll do it. Nice. Nice. All right. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's 28 plus 24. That is 52 points of damage. Ooh, man, you bloodied it with that shot. Yeah. Is that my dice? You know what they're called? Aperture what? dice. Aperture, Aperture dice. dice. I thought they were companion dice. <laughs> Orin, you're up. Okay, Orin is going to try to get a sense of what what their range is with their... Actually, I can I roll an... No, I can't roll another knowledge check. Um Mm-mm. Yeah, he's trying to bait an attack of opportunity. There, there. He's not on the on the roof, as it were. Okay. So we're talking Pythagorean theorem situation. Well, where, like, how high are you? I mean, he's still in the in the. You're on the ground. Uh, on the ground, but flying, okay. right? Yeah, hovering, but still in yeah. the five foot cube that is the ground. Correct. Right. And Orin's going to try to move. Uh. Oh, so we fixed the squares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, so don't actually move yet, because if I do succeed at this attack of opportunity, you will not be able to move, right? If I grapple you with it. Well, I mean, I'm going to move where I was going to move. Okay. I'm saying I might move you back. It will. I won't, though. Well, does a 27 hit? Absolutely not, especially not mobility. No. And then you have to roll no. a mischance anyway. Uh, okay. For concealment. Right. The starlight form. All right, mm-hmm. so that one does try. D- do other ones uh, try? The, yeah, I guess this one to your left would have tried for for you too. Okay. So let me roll that. And now, how far away would they have been? Ooh, forty-four. So that gets you at the fifteen-foot reach, right? Okay. Wait, does it? Uh, if they are. Where were you? You're right here, right? Yeah, I was right there. Right. So, so that yeah, would have been they, 10 feet away and 20 feet up. Well, 15 feet up because they occupy a five foot. Oh, oh right, right. Okay, so 15 and 10. Is eight, eight, that's 18. That's 18. Ooh, look at you just sneaking out of that. Yeah. That's good because I rolled a 44 on that. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. So that is Orin's movement. Obviously, for the for the purposes of mechanical, he's going to be drawing his sword weapon as part of that movement. However, I'm going to flavor it a little differently because I'm going to use my new spell, Planar Phase. Uh, so Orin just sort of like dips out of uh, of this plane of existence for a second and reappears on the roof. Uh, in flanking with the one that Mike's attacking, and as he does, he draws a sort of weapon, and it's infused with like this like purple fire uh, when he comes back uh, into into reality. Because I need I need fire on my weapon for the, for this. Nothing dope. personal, Bantry. Very, very dope. Yeah, yeah. So that is that's my whole turn. But I'm I'm set up. I am in flanking with a melee weapon with Mike, and. Um, so that should help some. All right, yeah, that is that is a, a big turn. It's this one that it, now he can hit you with the reach. Yeah. And so he will swing out with his appendage. 
Ooh, that is a 32. A 32 against the AC or KAC? KAC. Okay. I have a 31 KAC, unless Mike wants to... I don't think he can bodyguard, can he? He can. You have to be adjacent. Jason? Yeah. Okay, draw your mischance. All right, that's just a D1 Hondo. Here we go. That is a 62 on that. That's a hit. All right, so that is going to deal not much damage. 26 points of bludgeoning damage to you. Okay, 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Hey. Nice, nice. All right, Fell, you're up. All right, Fell is going to attempt to shoot the one that just attacked Oren, the one that's hanging on the ceiling. It's the one mm-hmm. northwest of him, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shoot at him, but I'm shooting with, or sorry, so as a move action first, I'm going to boost my plasma weapon. You are aware that it has a little bit of cover, right? From because what? You're, because it's on the ceiling and you're on the outside of the building, so like, how tall is this door? The door is not 20 feet tall. The door is like 10 feet tall. So it's and not I'm like standing in the threshold of it. I should be able to see. You're not standing in the threshold of it. Yeah, I had to move in so that I could yeah. get a clear shot. Fuck it. I'm going to try it anyways. I've got that, uh, what's it called? The sniper's aim. So mm-hmm. reduce uh, AC by two points from cover. So anyways, boosting the plasma weapon, get an extra 2d10. If it hits, as my move action, and then I'm shooting with the improved overcharge. All right. So let's see that attack. It's a natural one. Oh, Ooh, boy! Buddy. Uh, roll to confirm. All right. Get those cards ready, John. Already ready. <laughs> <sighs> Thankfully, I didn't spend any ammo. Uh, Thirty-five. All right. So no confirm. Just critical fumble. It's a miss. All right. That's a miss. All right. The, let's see. This one that North is... Northeastern. Next to Yeah. Uh, next to Oren. Is going to lash out with its... Try to grab you. Fuck. <laughs> that is a 43 Jeez. against KAC. Just I, misses. <laughs> I think that beats you by eight, right? Wait, against say what? Against you, Oren. 43 against KAC. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It beats it by eight. Miss chance. Oh, right. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. Not today, All Satan. Right. <laughs> right, Ziva, you're up. All right. So Ziva is actually just going to move action. Uh, just a regular get him, so that's going to be a plus one again to the one that is currently being flanked by Mike and Oren, and she's going to take a shot with her uh, shoulder laser, her Corona. My, 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 my Corona. I ain't going to get it. That's a 20 against, or 21 no, a, against. <laughs> no, I ain't going to get it. <laughs> all right, well, we tried. Uh, all right, we're at the top of round three. And it is the executive that's by the door, and it this is the one that has Mike grappled, and it is going to use its strip flesh ability. Everything in this place is trying to take flesh off of you, Mike. Yes. I just hate Mike, it. Mike, I need you to roll a fortitude save. Gladly. Thirty-five. All right, you pass that. <laughs> you will. You are going to take. 17 points of slashing damage. That is the already halved amount, so you'll take all 17 of that. And you are sickened one. Okay. For one round. I'm sorry, sickened for one round. The next one is going to do the same thing to Kuiper. So, Kuiper, I need you to roll a fortitude save. And it's going to regenerate because nobody hit that one with fire this turn. I want to. Uh, what, what did you roll, um, Heath? Just real quick. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll. 
Uh, with use what? my fortitude. Uh, I mean, Your coat? Yeah, my coat. Yeah. All right. So you, with a, with a flip of your coat, your trench coat. <laughs> yeah, like, I, uh, I just popped the collar. That's what I yeah. did. <laughs> Edgy boy over yeah, here, right. dude. 22. Nothing <laughs> personnel indeed. <laughs> that is not going to get it. Damn it. Okay. You are going to take 30 points of slashing damage, and you are going to be sickened for what? Ten years. <laughs> ten years. Exactly. Ten years. I'm sick of all Six of you. rounds. Oof. Six rounds. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck. I mean, okay, be a smart ass, but <laughs> sick and sucks, dude. Is that, is that, uh, <laughs> you, you got me, right, buddy? Uh, uh, no. No? <laughs> uh, no? I, none of us understand why you're so confident. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad thing. Uh, Mike, you're up. We'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just full attack because I um, mm-hmm. can't. You gotta move. get in touch, range Kuiper. That won't be a problem. Aren't you grappled? Right now I am, yeah. Okay, well. But assume that we'll die. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, Mike? I'll full attack. So much okay. confidence. So much un. We are okay, fucking twenty seven on the first one. That will not hit. Okay. Okay. Full attack. Even with uh, it's flanked AC. And in get him. Oh, it would hit. Yeah. It would hit. Oh, yeah. it's flat footed, son. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then what's your second 20, roll? Twenty twenty six. Also, because of flat footed and get him is a hit. Nice. Okay. Uh, and they're undead, so they're immune to mind affecting. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's just get your damn um, beam. Oh, I. The um the acid attack thing it did is that we're rolling fortitudes. Is that an actual attack or is that just an effect? It's just because effect. they have us grappled? Okay. Right, right. I missed my electrostatic field the last time I got hit, and I want to not miss it again if I get hit again. Mm. Um, What's your okay. damage for these hits? Uh, 44, but that'll be minus 2 for second, so 42. Well, both of them hit, so go ahead and give me all the damage. Or Well, if, I'm, if I've already got sickened on my character, then it'll already be taking it away. I don't think sickened affects your damage. Yes, it does. It's minus well, it's two not, to, to damage rolls. It's definitely not affecting it here. Okay, well, then it would be 42 instead of 44. Oh, it's because you didn't put sickened on your sheet, bro. Uh, which means that that 26 would not have hit. So you're only going to do the first damage, which is 42 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, it's not slashing, it's bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, right. Okay, uh, that thing looks pretty much on the ropes. Mike, w- uh, Kuiper, what you going to do? Yeah, so uh, quick question. Uh, did you take the bleed uh, from the last... It doesn't... It does not bleed. All right, cool. All right, good to know. Uh, that case, I'm still going to go ahead with the uh, trick attack uh, with skip shot pistol. Not trying to break the grapple yet. Um, so... And this time I'm going to uh, impose. Let's see if you hit shot. before you. I don't even care. Yeah. We'll see if you hit. Thirty. All right. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. So it's gonna be a stunning shot. All right. So All right I have to roll a fortitude save, right? Uh. Yes. Oh, it's immune. Too bad. <laughs> oh, Get your you damage. Son of a bitch! I forgot those undead immunities. All right. So let's get that damage. <laughs> Zach's over here, like I was trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. On the pistol and 34. So that is 51 points of damage against El Bantrito. All right. Well, you kill that one for sure. Fucking hey, I shoot it right um, in his nose. And you know what? Face. I'm I'm like real sick of your attitude, John. So. <laughs> We'll see you, and we'll pick this up oh, next time. You live <laughs> three minutes away. <laughs> I will roll you like.
white guys. Listen, <laughs> this cliffhanger is entirely John's fault, oh. and I want you to give him all the help for it when this comes out. This is not my fault. This you is John's fault. We'll see you. We'll see you.